Welcome to the stage, Andrew Kennedy. I had a Dominican woman deny she could speak Spanish because she got offended. <laughs> that having never met her, I just approached her and began speaking to her in Spanish. So she decided to deny that she spoke Spanish. <laughs> Cleverly, by saying, I don't understand Spanish. Okay, that's how she told me. She didn't speak Spanish. That's just crazy that you, by looking at someone, that you can just assume that they're Latin. That's just crazy that you can, how dare you just, by looking at someone, that you can assume that they're like, and I'm like, okay. Clearly you're from Alabama. I didn't pick up on the Southern draw. I'm one example of how you don't judge a book by its cover. And I was waiting in line at a Pizza Hut Express. I, I don't even know why they call it this. Because it takes the same amount of time to make the pizza. But it, it was in New York at the Delta Terminal in La Guardia. So it was Pizza Hut Express. Everything quick for you. And I've been in this country for, for over 30 years, so when I hear Spanish, I like to speak Spanish. Everybody behind the counter was speaking Spanish. And I waited in line with a whole bunch of people, and this woman had her back to me, just over the counter, like I could have flicked her ponytail to get her attention. I could have done that, but you don't do that. That's not socially acceptable behavior. <laughs> so I didn't do that. But I'm three feet away from her, and I said to her, por favor, me das un pedazo de pepperoni y una botella de agua. Nobody else could have said that. But she turned around, and she in her mind went, no, no. She looked at the black gentleman next to me wearing a Kansas City Chiefs hat. No, no. And answered the Indian who was sitting two people away from me. Because he looked the most Latino. You know what I'm talking about, right? White guy, black guy, and apparently he's a wizard from Hogwarts and could throw his voice. Indians do not like to be mistaken for Latinos. Did you know that? <laughs> that is like a huge beef. He was so upset. I do not speak this como te llamas. Please, I've got it. I've got it. No, please. Hansa, do not interfere with me. Prankash, not now. Okay? Surendra, put the cookies back. Listen, ever since I come into New York, everybody come to me like como te llamas, como te llamas. Okay? I'm not Puerto Rican, I'm not Dominican. Yes, I like the music, yes. I like to move it, move it, yes. All right, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. But I wanted him to say that. The black gentleman with the Kansas City Chiefs hat was from Kensington, England. Who saw that coming? Oh, I say, you speak Spanish awfully well. I'm trying to call Zamel. Can you guide me? This woman must have thought the end of the world was happening right now. <laughs> the Blanquito speaks Spanish, the Latino doesn't, and the black guy's an extra from Rocky Horror Picture Show. What's happening? <laughs> Thank you.